Well, they raised the debt ceiling. So exactly what we thought would happen. We're not gonna default on our debt. They decided to raise the debt ceiling. I'll show you in a second. Before I do that, don't forget to drop a like. Today, we're gonna be talking about Mullen stock and we are up in pre-market right now and we should be up because we have crashed down horribly, which I've been sharing with you all. I'm gonna show you the charts today. I'm gonna to show you where I think we could potentially move next with what the charts are showing us. We all know we're waiting on this Lawrence news, this deal with him and Mullen that he keeps talking about, and that's the thing that's holding everything back in my opinion. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. I make Mullen content every single day and other stocks as well, like Tesla LAZR. I'll be giving you some updates on those this week. Of course, none of this is financial advice. You gotta do your own research and do what's best for you at the end of the day. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. The house passes the debt ceiling bill. Okay, so what does that mean? That means stocks are gonna go up in my opinion. So I made a video about this a couple of days ago. Hopefully you watched that. If you haven't, go to my page, go watch it. So it says like debt ceiling or something like that. How does this affect Mullen stock? Because that's the question most of us care about, I'm sure. You know, if you're in other stocks, like I'm big on Tesla, I actually bought a bunch of Tesla at 173 and 177 bucks. And I'm still holding. We're at 203 right now, 204 basically we closed yesterday. So that's great news, right? We'll say this, Mullen may benefit from the debt ceiling getting raised, in my opinion, but it's not gonna be substantial enough with what I was talking about yesterday. Yesterday, I made a video on my way home. I was in LA, if you watched the video, and I said, the two things that we need is we need actual news about this whole Lawrence deal and Mullen and MAEO. That will move the stock significantly. Right now, pre-market trading at 7425, so almost 75 cents. Then when production rolls around in July, this stock can move way higher in my opinion. So right now we wait, or you sell. Let me know what you decide to do down below, or are you buying more? Because I, I do think we're gonna get some news. We have to get an update this week. Now this isn't looking too good. About five hours ago, we have 450,000 shares available. Uh, to borrow against Mullen stock, right? And to short basically. So the other day when we were up 14% pre-market, 16% I believe, there were zero shares uh, to borrow. So we need zero, that's a positive thing for Mullen to move up at this point. All right, so on the daily time frame, you can see that the RSI is at 25, very, very oversold. The stochastic is pointing down now, so momentum is down, but we'll see what happens today. Um, positive divergence, you know, it's the same old thing that we've been kind of talking about. The, la the only thing we're waiting on is that news, that piece of news. It was built up so big from what Lawrence has said. It wasn't the news we want on Tuesday. That's why the stock fell. What we can look for is if we do run, we want to break this first little trend line and then this one also. We want to move all the way up, right? We want to really get to the 50-day moving average. That is around $2 right now. Um, I do have some resistance on the fibs at $1.43. I think that could be maybe strong resistance depending on the news we get and how much volume is coming in when we do decide to run. But then you have your next level on the fibs, which would be $1.87. So we'll see what happens today. Short video this morning. Today's the day or tomorrow's the day. We really got to get the news that we're all looking for. Drop a like if you got some value. Hope you have a great day and I hope we have a green day.